I'm Sophie Coley from Search Listening, the official education partner of Answer the Public. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find keyword volumes using Answer the Public. How to get keyword volumes in Answer the Public. Now, this is a bit of a funny one to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you there is a way that you can try and get keyword volumes in Answer the Public. It works for some stuff, it doesn't work for others. Um, here's the thing that I want to say first of all. Answer the Public typically serves up what I would call more editorial, long tail keywords. They're probably not even keywords, they're more key phrases. So they're questions, they're sentences. Um, they're the more kind of conversational ways that people search within Google, whether it's typing something in or um, voice search, which we know is on the up. So if I'm looking at the examples here, things like dresses, Xbox, flights, they're all generic, short term, head term keywords, right? They're generic, they're commercial, there is a high purchase intent behind most of those. Um, if it was a phrase like, are black dresses okay to wear to a wedding? People absolutely type that into Google. People use Google to kind of find out information and to get advice in that kind of way. But that's not a term that is going to lead to a sale necessarily. It's someone looking for information rather than a product. Now, in the search industry, the kind of tools that people use to get um, keyword volumes are very, very much set up for the paid side of search, i.e. Um, advertising, sales, selling items, selling products. Um, so if you're looking for how many people search for dresses each month, it will absolutely serve that up for you so that you can figure out how much you need to spend to show up ads for that kind of term. If you're trying to look for volumes around the example I gave you, is it okay to wear black dresses to a wedding? There's no obvious sales intent behind that and actually keyword volume tools therefore don't really reflect it. They don't bother surfacing the relevant data because there's no kind of commercial or no obvious commercial um, opportunity tied to it. So it's a long way of explaining it, but effectively I don't believe that keyword volume tools, um, any of them as far as I'm aware, although if you know one, I would love to hear it, are set up to show accurate volumes for long tail editorial keywords. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. So if you do want to um, use a plugin, a tool to give you keyword volumes for the, the reports that you get and answer the public, the one I would recommend is Keywords Everywhere. So um, you can install it for Chrome, for Firefox. It's just a browser plugin. I've got it installed um, for Chrome at the moment. Um, I won't show you the, the installation process. It's very, very simple. Um, but yeah, I've got it running on my browser now and I'm going to do, um, let's go like tacos. So my report is going to load as normal and uh, I don't think I have the plugin running at the moment. So I'm going to, oh I do, uh, here you are. So it just takes a second to load. Um, you'll see the fonts change slightly and that's just an indication that Keywords Everywhere is running. Um, these new sort of um, buttons down here are also from Keywords Everywhere. So what I get now is um, if I hover over any of the terms, so can tacos be made with flour tortillas, um, you will see this little pop-up which shows me that there is zero searches per month, um, the cost per click is zero dollars and there is zero competition for that term. Now, the very fact that that term is showing in my report, it's doing so because Google has flagged it as a suggestion. Google is suggesting it to people when they search canned tacos. Uh, it's doing that because it knows other people are searching can tacos be made with flour tortillas. Despite that, the tool is saying that there's zero search volume for it. I do not believe there is zero search volume for it. It comes back to the, the point that I explained at the start of this video. Tools aren't set up to show keyword volumes for long tail editorial queries. So my point here is that use keywords everywhere for some of the more um, shorter, more generic kind of commercial terms, you might actually see some volume. So let's try this one. So here we are, uh, are tacos gluten free? It's got 720 searches a month, so that's great. But as I've said, I would still not disregard uh, can tacos be made with flour tortillas? I don't believe that there's no one searching for it. I believe it's a limitation of the way that keyword uh, volume tools work at the moment. So download it and see what you get. Um, I get a bit frustrated seeing zero come up so frequently, which you'll see um, on all of these at the moment it is. So uh, use it, but use it with a pinch of salt and um, use your better judgment. And, and remember that fact that these terms are showing up in the tool because Google is suggesting suggesting them to people. It's doing that because people are searching in that way. Um, so a zero here does not mean 
that it's a term to be ignored or that nobody is actually searching for it.